that would make the Glastonbury organisation go bust. There's two and a half million quid that they need to and people don't make those sort of profits. That, that festival would, would, would end overnight. We therefore can't issue complete refunds for people who simply change their mind because we build the event depending on the ticket sales. So once a promoter guarantees the artist the money, the venue the money, then the artist goes and designs that tour, the expenses are taken on, and that money is on the table. If then the, the customers come up and ask for a refund um, two days before and you haven't got a chance to resell them, that's where promoters will be going bankrupt left, right and centre. What we will offer, though, is a resale policy. So if you can't attend the event, when? for what, whatever reason, as soon as there's any sort of legislation um, to help touting, because otherwise we are simply going to be acting as a clearinghouse for touts. Otherwise, if, if well, we... Give us, give us the detail of what this, this, this uh, policy <coughs> would contain at, at some point in the future, then. You go back to the point of purchase where you bought your ticket from, said, I can't attend the gig, there's my ticket back, you get the full, full face value back, the ticket is offered for resale, so as and when tickets are sold out, these tickets go on sale. So as customers who haven't got tickets, they only have to check with the primary tickets, usually the venue box office. They don't have to go through Viagogo and Seatwave and eBay and all these people making that extra layer of margin out of it. You go back to the point of sale always and only, so you can ask exactly where the seat is. But you would is. only do that when all your other tickets have been sold? Well, of course, that's, it. that's, that's the only model that, that we can support. Otherwise, your, your touts are just going along, they'll snap, snap, snap and get a load of tickets, and then when they don't sell them, they'll, they'll take them all back to you. Well, we, we can't finance that. It's bad enough having to cope with touts in the market now, let alone us be the clearinghouse for them and support them. The live industry would and, it, over now. and is that an industry agreement? Yes, yes, absolutely everybody. And you've seen the letter that we put in, I hope. It's, I've never seen so many signatories come from so many competing parties, all united. The strength of feeling of this is incredible out there. Absolutely unbelievable. that The, 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 the industry feels that, that this is a real turning point for us, and we are desperately trying to hold on to our members. We, we don't operate like the RFU, who commendably um, look after the schools and things, or, or Wimbledon and things. We are a bunch of individual entrepreneurs made up and we are trying to hold everybody until we get through this process before people say, well, I'm sorry, but I've had enough of everybody else making the secondary market. We are now going to auction percentages of our ticket. And those people will just explode onto the market and replace the touts that are selling on the secondary market and the public is going to lose out hugely. And that's what we're coming here to, to, to say. Please protect the public from what is an inevitable economic explosion. So Sorry. Sorry. And in essence, I mean, I guess I'm stating the obvious, but we are the people that are <coughs> investing in our industry. We are nurturing the talent right the way through to hopeful success where there is that kind of demand. But equally, we have to have a balance. And all alongside our industry, or as I said before, all the people that are employed alongside it, that we also nurture and develop. And we have to, we do consider ourselves to be a professional body. And we are genuinely trying to deal with this because not only is it affecting the, general, the genuine music and sports fans, but as you know, as you full well know, in the West End with theatre tickets where people are coming in from all over the world and part of their experience is to go to the West End, is to go to events, even to go to the very popular arts exhibitions. And what they're faced with is this whole secondary and touting market. It is doing out all of us a disservice. But at the moment, people could validly say that your market is what's creating the market for touts. Yes, because well, we've got it realistically. The, 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 no, no, hold on. That your market is currently creating that market. But why shouldn't fans who can't use tickets? currently be offered a resale just because touts they might are. They are. They are. We, we, we have introduced, um, and traditionally over the years we've always given refunds to fans. We can't openly say it, but when people come back with genuine markets. reasons, we, we have given them refunds, yes. Especially sold out shows because we know that we can get rid of the ticket straight away. Now there, there are ticket exchange mechanisms out there, there are ticket refund mechanisms out there. What we're saying is let's end all this confusion, we are going to go with one resale policy that every single member will sign up to and it's going to be out, out there and publicised as, as every ticket will be sold with a stamp from the society ticket agents and retailers so we're hoping that star will become as well known as apta in, in, in amongst consumers and consumers will know to only go to, to, to that place 
But where you say that we're creating that market, I don't know how many of you have heard of the Fratellis, how many of you have heard of Muse, how many have heard of The View. However, you've all heard of the Arctic Monkeys. You know, there's a band that's got this huge media hype going on around it. Does that give us the right, therefore, to charge £60 for the Arctic Monkeys tickets because everybody knows about them and there's this huge media hype? We're doing them outdoors in a couple of weeks' time, £28.50 for a ticket. That's not market value, but the band have only just released their second album. They know that they have got to reward those fans who have been following them around the clubs, paying £7.50 and £12.50, building them up to the place where they are, where they're the biggest selling album of last year in the country. Those fans need to come along and feel that they have had genuine value for money. They're getting five, six bands for £28.50 and probably one of the greatest concerts this summer. We know we could have charged three figures for that. But those fans won't necessarily come back. They'll turn around and go, well, it was all right, but it wasn't worth 100 quid. And the damage is done. Can I just add in that...